Hey guys, I'm here at Savers. I almost said Goodwill. I'm not at a Goodwill yet. I'm at Savers again. Hopefully I have no lipstick on my teeth. But anyway, let's go inside and see if we can find anything cool. Don't mind my messy stained seat. Look at that seat. Ooh, girl, I've dropped so many things on there. But I also brought a few things to donate because I do believe they're taking donations um, in the front. So I just put it in this bag to make it a little easier. It's just a Target paper bag. Um, I only have like a dress on the top that are cute, but I just don't wear them, so I don't see the point of keeping them. So we're all done at Savers. It ended up being pretty much a bust for me. I was here not that long ago, so I didn't think that much new stuff would come in. To me, Savers is very overpriced unless it's a sale day or the item's half off. So it's hard for me to like buy anything that's full price. I did end up getting two items that were full price, but I had a $2 off coupon. So instead of paying 20, I paid 18. And one of the items is for my dad and one's for my friend who I'm gonna give it to her as part of her wedding gift. It's vintage bills. I'll show everything I pick up at the end of this video, obviously. Um, but right now I'm gonna go over to the Goodwill that's right nearby, because I wanna see what they have. Look how cute this is. It's so like early 2000s looking, but I think it's more recent than that.
Let's see, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna shoot this? I don't know. We're back in my house and it's been a few, actually been a few weeks since I did that thrift trip and I've thrifted a lot more since then. But anyway, I, I, don't, ugh, I only ended up picking up four items from both of those stores altogether. I'm just gonna take them out of the bag. I'm not gonna blab because we're just gonna get right into the haul. It's fine, I'm totally normal. So I picked up this Tommy Bahama shirt for my dad. If you watch any of my other videos, you would know that he is obsessed with Tommy Bahama. And whenever I find a piece for him, I like have to grab it because it's just so much cheaper than buying it full retail. And thrifting's awesome, so. It's just this blue button down. He loves anything blue. And I hope it fits him because it does look a little small, even though it's a size large, which is normally his size. Um, but it says Island Modern Fit, so I don't know if that, oop, and it was $10.99. Uh, so yeah, uh, just right there. I don't know. So I got that for him. And then I ended up picking up this really awesome vintage Buffalo Bills crew neck sweatshirt. I texted it to my friend um, who was a diehard Bills fan. She ended up liking it and she's getting married actually this weekend. So this is going to be part of her wedding gift because I figured why not throw in some thrifted vintage for a wedding gift. Um, it was $8.99, which is a little more expensive. It was at Saver, so shocker. It's a little more expensive than what I normally pick these items up for, but vintage anything like sports related is kind of harder to find now with the market so saturated with resellers. And anyway, it's just awesome. It does have some stains. I, I haven't washed it. I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna wash it. I'm gonna let her do that. But it does have a little st bit of staining on it, like on the bottom here, there's a mark, but Again, vintage that just adds character to it. And I do believe this says somewhere, yep, that it is from 1996, if you can see that right down there. So yeah, thought that was pretty cool. Then I went over to the Goodwill and I ended up picking up this gorgeous, gorgeous, oh, I'm obsessed with this freaking blazer, okay? It's this mustard colored blazer. If you saw from the footage of me thrifting, they had like a million blazers that were incredible they all fit me they were great but i just don't need that many i have so many blazers as it is but this one i don't have anything in this color and it's just mm. and it's obviously vintage sag harbor see right there and it's just mm, everything i could ever want and it's got this big gold button so i had to pick that up and then the last item from the goodwill for this thrift trip is this vintage all over print Dodgers t-shirt. Hopefully you can see that. The print is literally all over it. I looked up online this shirt trying to find comps because I am starting to sell some stuff. I have a Depop. I'll link it below if you're interested. Um, I actually couldn't find this exact print anywhere. So I don't know how much I would even try to resell it for, but it's probably gonna be a little bit pricier than other items I'm selling, just because it's so unique and it's in really great condition. I've looked it over, I can't find anything wrong with it. I don't see stains per, like I've looked it over pretty well. I'm saying um a lot, it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, it's just so freaking cool. I was like, oh, if this were Yankees, I'd be happier because my family's a Yankees team, but I don't really watch sports at all anymore, so. I didn't get any footage from the pieces I'm about to show because I just went to a thrift store, picked it up, and I didn't film that day. But I ended up, on the side here, <laughs> picking up these two vintage Bills mugs. This one has a little bit of wear, but they're so cool. You can tell they're vintage. It doesn't have dates, I don't think, on either of them. But just when you can just tell. Like, I just know they're vintage. But this one just looks like this for the Buffalo Bills. And this one looks like this. I think they're so stinking cute. I'm not, again, I'm not a sports fan, but I love vintage sports stuff. Like, I got a problem, it's fine. But these I'm not gonna keep for myself. I do think I'm gonna give them to my friend for part of her wedding gift, along with the sweatshirt and like money. <laughs> but I thought they could be like his and hers mugs because they are diehard Bills fans, as I said. <laughs> Sexy. Okay. And then for all of my cleaning needs, vacuum I ended up picking up this really adorable Minnie Mouse it's like a handheld vacuum and inside has little butterflies so when you press the button 
they go crazy. They go crazy, like you're actually picking up stuff. I'm gonna turn it off, it's probably loud. But it was, I think a dollar, and it was supposed to be part of an actual vacuum set, but the other part of the vacuum wasn't there. I looked all over, but my goddaughter is obsessed with Minnie and her birthday's coming up, so I'm saving everything that I find Minnie-wise that's in good condition that I thrift for her birthday in November. I ended up picking up this Blockbuster beer koozie. Um, it was a dollar. I am trying to sell it on my Depop. If anyone's interested, it takes me back, man. Like, I want to keep it for myself, but I also need to get stuff, like, out of my room. Like, I gotta sell some things. It's fine. But it's so cool. I couldn't leave it behind. It does have a little bit of cracking on the inside, but nothing terrible. Am I the only one that misses Blockbuster? Like, I legit miss going and picking out a video. Like, fighting with my siblings over which video it rent. But yeah, I thought that was so cool. It just took me back, so... And the next item that I picked up is this really adorable little picture in picture frame. Um, what do they call this? Why am I having them? Hand stitching. There we go. I saw this and it was a dollar, which I was shocked because normally stuff like this is like $2.99 or at least $1.99. So I saved a dollar in my head. I don't know, whatever. You get the point. But it was a dollar. And on the back, it has this little inscription and it says for Bev and it says by the sea, May 1984, Elaine Cook. So anytime there's like an inscription to someone, I like cry in the aisle and then I can't let it go. Cause I'm like, someone made this, like Bev, Bev was gifted this. Anyway, <laughs> I gotta stop. I just thought it was really, really pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Cause again, I don't need any more stuff. I am looking to move out of state. In a couple months and lord knows i need less stuff to ship but i couldn't just let it go i don't know it was beautiful to me so pick that up and then the last and final item for this haul is this amazing awesome vintage buffalo bills leather freaking jacket all right normally the thrift stores i will say like jack up the prices of these this one the price was actually very fair in my opinion for a thrift store so i picked it up i am going to try to sell it but i'm going to sell it um locally or hopefully to a friend i don't know yet uh it's just really cool i'm gonna step back here hopefully so you can see it it has the buffalo bills uh, obviously emblem right there and then here's the tag it's in literally like great condition. This is the back with the big logo. It's so freaking cool. It's in such good condition, like I keep saying. And then what I love about it too is the attention to detail. It has the buttons have like the NFL logo. Don't mind my gross nails. And then even the zipper has the NFL logo right there. I looked this up online and I only see one other person selling it or like I could find one posting on eBay for it. And they're asking for a hundred, so we're gonna see what we can get. Hopefully someone wants to buy it. Hopefully someone will love it. Literally, it, it kind of fits me. It doesn't zip up all the way. Like, you girls got the tummy going on. <laughs> so it won't go all the way, but it does fit me. And I was like, do I want to keep this for myself? No, because I'm not a fan and someone else could get use out of this, but it is really cool. And it's just, uh, I love vintage so much. That's it, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please, Hit the like button if you want to stick around for more awkwardness. I'd hope you'd subscribe. What are words? Anyway, until next time. Love you guys. Bye.